Let's take a moment and talk about the Sea Organization. What is it? The Sea Organization was formed in 1967 and is a group of Scientologists who are bound together around the common purpose to forward, uphold, and carry out command intention, meaning that they swear an oath to follow the orders of whoever is in charge of the Church of Scientology. Originally, that leader was L. Ron Hubbard. When he died in 1986, David Miscavige publicly took over running all Scientology operations and has been the leading officer of the Sea Org ever since. Anything Miscavige orders is considered command intention. Hubbard told Scientologists that Sea Org members are the aristocracy of Scientology. They are run with military-style discipline and traditions, such as wearing uniforms, holding naval ranks like petty officers and officers, and calling seniors sir. On the subject of rank, there is an important point I want to tell you about. In the Sea Org, there are brevet ranks, meaning ranks that you get temporarily because of a job or position that you hold. For example, someone could be a commander temporarily because they are holding a senior executive position at the highest levels of the church, even though the rank they have earned as a Sea Org member could be quite lower. The highest rank in the Sea Org is captain. According to documents the church filed with the IRS in 1992, Captain David Miscavige is the only captain in the Sea Org who isn't temporarily holding that rank. In other words, he is the highest ranking officer in the Sea Org and has been for decades. Only Sea Org members may hold management positions in the church's hierarchy and only Sea Org members are given the rights to deliver the confidential upper level services. Sea Organization members also hold positions of authority in every lower echelon Scientology organization. They keep an eye on things and act as representatives of senior management authority. Sea Org members move between different posts and different organizations at the whim of Sea Org executives meeting whatever personnel demands are the order of the day. A Sea Org member can be a senior executive at the highest levels one day and reposted as a janitor in a lower organization the next there is very little stability in the life of a Sea Org member. In fact, no matter what their rank or position or standing, Sea Org members can be removed from their positions at any time and sent to the Rehabilitation Project Force if it is deemed that they have somehow betrayed the Sea Org or not followed command intention. The RPF is the Sea Org's prison system, meaning that those on the RPF are quarantined away from everyone else engage in hard physical labor for most of their day, have absolutely no time off, vacations, or holidays, and are forbidden from calling or otherwise directly contacting their family or friends. In fact, people on the RPF can't even speak to anyone not on the RPF unless they're spoken to first. The RPF is supposed to result in a rehabilitated and loyal Sea Org member who is ready to get back to following command intention without any hesitation. What's so interesting about the Sea Org is that it has no legal existence, is not a corporation or even a membership trust like the IAS, yet it is the group that unquestionably runs Scientology internationally.